take a look at some of the replays yeah. here, and there is the left Double hook, hook of Velasquez. That's right. The hook landed to the bread basket and then to the chin, and then he switched his position and let off a 1-2 uh, combo. And we begin round number three here, Velasquez and Chanez, scheduled for six rounds in the flyweight class. As we mentioned earlier, Velasquez is now trained by the renowned Freddie Roach. And uh, for Doug, for Freddie Roach, it's a bit of a transition period post Pacquiao, kind of retooling his whole stable with guys like Toka Khan, Clary, uh, Velasquez, and some other younger fighters. Yeah, and we see that a lot with uh, veteran boxing trainers. You just did a story recently on Joe Goosey, yes. going through the same process where you have a bunch of name guys, you got a bunch of top 10 contenders and world title holders, and if you're blessed like Freddie Roach, you have a, a superstar or two like a Manny Pacquiao, and then they move on. Yeah. And uh, you know, so Pacquiao, I'm sorry, uh, Pacquiao uh, parted ways, Miguel Cotto retired, and some of these guys that were, were working with, with Freddie Roach just disappeared, like Frankie Gomez. Yeah. Um, and so you got to start over again. Frankie Gomez, I remember him. Remember that guy? I remember him long ago. Whatever happened to old Frankie, you know? And speaking of Joe Goosen, he led Amir Khan to a victory, but Cynthia, boy, Amir looked very shaky today. I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah he got dropped, but... That's the Amir yeah. Khan experience, <laughs> yeah. though. Yeah. We know how talented he is, and he, he will always have that Achilles heel, even against a fighter uh, the caliber of a Samuel Vargas. I mean, now that you know people, he's been calling out Pacquiao, do you think that could even possibly happen after this fight with Vargas? Yes, because... Even more so. Well, <laughs> if you're the yeah, opponent, you're like, yeah, yeah, I got this. I got this. <laughs> Look, if, if Sammy Vargas put him down, I'm knocking him out. Right, and there's a couple more left hooks by Velasquez starting to get his offense going and, here. And I like how he, he, yeah. he aimed him at the midsection of, of the journeyman. And a good right hand over the top. So Velasquez now starting to put his punches together here in round number three. But the Amir Khan fight, just the first major main event in a very busy, yeah. actually not the first, the first one might have been that uh, Andrew Maloney fight that you yeah. referenced. Uh, from, from Australia. He looked very good, by the way, and he might be getting a shot at Khalil Yafai. I, I think it is within reason to believe that Maloney one day might be on one of these Superfly cards. I think cards. so. I hope so. I would love to see the Maloney twins fight live, and uh, Andrew's older brother is in the World Boxing Super Series Bantamweight Tournament. So Velasquez having a big round number three here, probably shaking off some of the ring rust from a nine, 10 month layoff. And again, nice combination by Velasquez, punctuating a very strong third frame. Now Velasquez has his timing back. He didn't have it, he didn't have this form in the first round. 